Hello, so this is Chapter 20, Substance Misuse by Children and Adolescents. Scope of the problem of substance use in childhood and adolescence. Childhood chemical abuse patterns. In 37 states, parents can legally give alcohol to children under the age of 21 in certain situations. About 61% of high school seniors reported having abused alcohol at least once representing a recent downward trend. 22.8% of 8th grade students had used alcohol at least once. Special problems of alcohol use and driving among adolescents. One third of the drug related visits to hospital ERs are for those 12 to 20 years of age. Adult substance abuse patterns. In 2011, marijuana was reported the most commonly abused um, to elicit compound through usage patterns have been decreasing prior to legalization. A growing problem in the, the diverse of prescriptions and illicit use. About 25% of high school students reported having used a medicine medication prescribed for somebody else. May individuals not recognize the dangers and addictive nature of such drugs? Why worry about SUDs in childhood and adolescence? Adolescent cigarette smokers are 50% more likely to develop an AUD later in life. SUDs are leading cause of uh, morality for older adolescents, along with a variety of risky behaviors. The neurological factor. Important brain structures and functions do not complete maturation until adulthood. Drugs can interfere with normal progression. Various brain areas are particularly vulnerable, including white matter, the ventral stratum, and the amygdala, among others. Why worry about SUDs in childhood and adolescence? Gateway theory suggested that marijuana use would be a gateway to more serious drug use. Highly controversial with existing research both supporting and refuting the idea. Uh, may disregard a host of other factors that contribute to a progression of substance use. No clear answer and debate continues. Tobacco use by children and adolescents. There has been a downward trend for adolescent cigarette smoking in the U.S. during the past decade. About 5% of adolescents use uh, smokeless tobacco, some believing that it is safer than e-cigarettes, E-cigarettes is also a growing issue. Stages of childhood adolescent smoking are as follows. Preparatory, initiation, experimentation, and transition. SUDs in these groups are influenced by genetic, her genetic heritage, environmental factors, and life events. There are five basic reasons for use. To feel grown up, to take risks and rebel against authority, to fit into a specific peer group, to feel relaxed and feel good, to satisfy curiosity about the drug's effects. Decision to use substances found in medicine cabinet may be related to the desire to feel older. Racial ethnic group membership can influence drug use. Gender difference, male adolescents use at a two to one ratio over females, parent adolescent relationship patterns, Strong relationship between parental substance use during the childhood years and later use of the adolescents. Adolescents who report highest levels of parental monitoring have lower levels of substance abuse. Siblings, important influences but rarely studied. Vocational, occupational choices. Adolescent mood states. Adolescents with higher levels of cortisol were more vulnerable to SUDs. Substance use patterns can become entrenched with far less duration of use in adolescents than in adults. Conduct disorder, oppositional defiant disorder. Peer group influencers, drug use or absence are more likely to be planned behaviors rather than reactive actions. Peer approval or disapproval is not always negative. It might influence initiation of substance use, but less so in supporting its continued use. Adolescents may gravitate toward peer groups with similar views toward substance abuse, but this appears to be the last step in the chain of events toward substance use. So why do children and adolescents use chemicals? Telecommunications, cell phones, text, social media, religious affiliation, negative correlation. 
Music, selection, direction of cause, personal values and rebellion, insomnia, obstructive sleep apnea, abuse history of victimization or victimization, employment, income may be used to acquire substances. Substance use, how much and when does it become too much? Prevention. It is more cost effective than treating SUD after established. It falls into three categories, universal, selective, and targeted. Childhood. Early onset alcohol use before age 13 might reflect a genetic predisposition and associated with more um, se severe alcoholism later. Adolescents. Only 11% of adolescents abstain from all chemical use. What is best parental response to experimental use? Stages of adolescent substance abuse, uh, which is in the next slide. Adolescent addiction to chemicals, problems in diagnosis and treatment of adolescent SUDs. Diagnostic standards derived from adult SUDs. Lack tools needed to separate those adolescents who misuse from those who are addicted. 1.1 million adolescents meet criteria for admission to treatment, but only one in 10 ever admitted. Problems in diagnostic and treatment of adolescents, SUDs. So lack of uh, definitive diagnostic criteria, difficult to separate misuse from abuse in adolescents, substance causes ex expressed differently than adults, self-report data are unreliable, lack of training, factors involved in professionals, lack of comfort in diagnosis and treatment. So this is the comparison of two models of adolescent substance abuse by Perik and Gray Danas and Patel. So I'm not gonna read all of this. I'm actually gonna take a moment here to take a bite of my food. Well, you can read it. assessment tools. Difference between a screening instrument and an assessment tool. Assessment instruments. Craft, tweak, tolerance, worried, eye-opener, amnesia, cut down. Drug use screening inventory, revised. The drug and alcohol program, DAP. Problem-oriented screening instruments for teenagers or substance use subtle screenings, inventory three. Possible diagnostic criteria for children or adolescents with suspected SUDs. Possible indicators to look for in children. Friend or close living who uses alcohol. Internalization feelings versus expressing them. Externalization of feelings. Social problems or poor impulse control. Engaging in risk-taking behaviors, poor parental supervision, or, and or inconsistent discipline. Trauma. Including parental divorce. Victimization, poor academic performance, problems controlling temper outburst, um, parental alcoholism, and Caucasian heritage. Mm. Refer to the text for a list of 26 possible indicators of substance use or, or abuse in adolescents. Higher number of indicators equate to higher risk. Substance use in adolescents is highly variable, and no one criterion confirms or disconfirms the presence of a problem. So consequences of an SUD in a child or adolescent. Alcohol, binge drinking on the decline, but still a serious concern. Benzodiazepines, virtually no research. Cocaine, many do not recognize a risk of addiction. Uh, hallucinogens associated with memory disturbance, inhalants, Neurotoxic and trigger cardiac problems. Marijuana, 4.5 million teens use marijuana in 2015. Many inco incorrectly believe that addiction is not possible. Consequences of SUD in child or adolescence. 
Methamphetamine it has potentially permanent impact on memory and visual learning skills. Tobacco, about 4.7 million middle and high schoolers, um, students use tobacco in 2050. May be unaware of signs of a growing problem. Opioids, the issue of child and adolescent abuse of opioids is a special concern since the abuse of these compounds is growing in popularity. So, adolescent rehabilitation programs. The special needs of adolescent substance abuse rehabilitation programs, referral sources, drug courts, and school um, officials are common. Adolescent substance use treatment, a cause for optimism. The risk of developing an SUD drops by 5% for every year that the initiation of substance use is delayed. The danger of underdiagnosis, SUDs play a significant role in teen, in teen suicide. So that's it for this. Thank you for listening.